that up to you. Go on, please. Please look at this picture. This picture shows classroom in Cambodia. This is the typical situation in Cambodia. Long table with three students. They are a bit tight to sit. They may be grumpy. That should be more spacious. It looks difficult to move or difficult to talk in group. Some on, some on. Bro, some on. Where are you? Okay, in Japan you can see now. Oh, I'm in here. Do you hear me? Okay, uh, uh, we can hear you clearly. Go on. Okay. In Japan, you can see now Japanese test. One student has one desk set like this. It makes easier to talk with friends. Sometimes they enjoy group discussion. It's one island where the table are gathered into one big island. For chair and a lot of tips around the big island that make a sand table or chair means the tool to enhance the interaction and discussion. Classroom teacher start with some visual data, audio visual data, work well to understand and the, uh, sorry, to understand what they are going to study. Please refer this data. It was called learning pyramid. Our group discussed this data carefully. Finally, we reached a conclusion to use this concept. Its concept works well getting along with group work. It depends classroom activity. Teaching others is the best way to learn. We decide to adapt it into our activity, giving an opportunity to students to talk what they learn to their friends. It was called Teach Other. Learning Pyramid illustrated the passive learning. Talk and talk style little lead to small amount of memory. Students would forget almost soon. Human wisdom is trained getting along with the learning pyramid. Depending learning style, read 10 cents and uh, read differ. Reading 10 person, audio visual 20 person, side as enjoying presentation. Discussion, discussion with friends 50 person, practice doing 75 person, side as practicum in other words, intensive teach other in the highness, it is 90%. In conclusion, when we think setting up the chair and table, we could find it strongly related to the learning style. It related to the recognition of students. Recognition means understanding and memorizing. We get to share the knowledge side as learning pyramid. Sharing ideas to improve education is one of the solutions toward SDG4. We can wait until the PC or projector are prepared. Of course, we expect that, but we would challenge what we can do now. Sharing ideas to improve Sharing ideas, getting ideas from all over the world is a kind of solution. That's our key messages. Thank you very much. Hey, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, students in Higashi High School, that presentation is good enough for you? Good? good. Yes, yes, yes. Good. What do you see? <laughs> you are present. 
presentation was so very nice. Uh, we, in our daily lives, our education is only to be lectured. So that I saw that it is important to teach each other. So I want to do that. Oh, great. <laughs> nice comment. Thank Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the teach others is uh, or group work is very important. Give the opportunity, give op students opportunity to discuss something is very very important. <laughs> Any other comment? Uh, you think it will be okay? Yeah. Uh, hi, yes. hi, Dodo. <laughs> uh, this day in Higashi Senior High School classes, uh, some classes keep um, some classes have uh, lecture, uh, not lecture, uh, teaching, <laughs> teaching each other, mm. uh, group discussion, and mm. more and more, more yeah. increasing. Okay. So, so uh, we we want to keep and uh, keep discussion and teaching each other. Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. Very. Good. You <laughs> point out very important thing. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So you mean, uh, learner centered is more valuable than teacher centered, right? Um, Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, you like uh, Dana centers better, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Very yes. good. Good comment. Oh. Uh, Yamaji sensei, any comment? Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, these are my students, yeah? And um, how many students are there in your class? Jay, uh, your name, I'm sorry. Uh, how many students in your class? I saw uh, in, the pictures in Cambodia. of Cambodia. Yeah. Chai, how many students Chai, in one class? Uh, around 40, 40 or 50 students. Uh, in Japan, there are about 40 students in one class, but sometimes the class is divided into two groups. And in English course, we make small groups and we make much of their group activities. Uh, it's very important to share the opinions um, with each other. So I like to, uh, it's very important to introduce small group activities. Yes, okay. thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank uh, you. Yosha Sensei, uh, please comment. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for your presentation. It's very logical. And uh, you use the uh, photos and uh, uh, figures uh, very well. And uh, you also pointed out uh, uh, teaching and uh, <clears throat> group work works very well. <clears throat> and at the same time, I wonder, I wonder what the demonstration means. That means uh, uh, just showing but not teaching. I think there is a big difference between demonstration and teaching others. What do you think about the difference between demonstration and teaching? So your opinion, you can say anything. I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think uh, there's a big difference between demonstration. That's one way. And, but uh, teaching others is uh, interactive uh, interaction. Uh, otherwise, we couldn't understand if students understand or not. So I think it is very important uh, to use the teaching method uh, in learning pyramid. So it works very well. Thank you. Mm. Uh, Chai, in yes. your class, teacher uh, did you to teach what you learn to, uh, to others. So in yes. your class, a teacher lead you to speak to teach others in class? Yes, professor, when we have group work. 
Oh, really, very good. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, <laughs> Hirano sensei, any comment for this presentation? Uh, thank you very much for a good presentation. <clears throat> and uh, I think the good point of this presentation is that it's based on your experience. I think you experienced uh, teacher-centered style and also learner-centered style. You experienced both of them, right? Chai? Yes. Yes? So yeah. uh, it's a very good point, I think. And do, this is my question. Do you think that uh, the different style of learning uh, improved your memory? Uh, not memory, uh, improved their learning? So if you started uh, learner-centered style, do you think you remember more than before? Yes, because learner-centered style uh, became a student student have more activity in classroom mm -hmm. yes and we can remember okay. what we did yes okay 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 thank you thank you very much thank you, yeah, thank thank you. you.